So why sewing is so hard? I'm going to answer this question in three simple and easy steps and we're also going to kick off Me Made Mate 2018 on this channel. And that's coming up guys. So this question I get asked a lot in my personal life uh, and on the direct messages on social media and Facebook, Alisa, why sewing is so hard? And usually this question people start having when uh, they see uh, that I make my own clothes, they get inspired to see those great results and they embark on this journey of sewing and after a month or two, they quit because it's hard. So first reason why sewing is so hard, reason number one is because you are not willing to invest the time or the resources that are needed to develop this skill. It's super simple. Uh, is sewing a talent? Uh, in my opinion, it's about 80% of skill and about 20% of talent. So even if you don't have any talent, those 80% of skill you can acquire by either taking classes, reading books, uh, watching YouTube, um, or just really experimenting of what it is to sew and create a garment. So if you're not willing to invest the time and the resources in developing this skill for real, um, then unfortunately sewing is going to be hard. You can't make a wedding dress on your second day of sewing. It's just not going to happen. And another thing that I wanted to add to this point is that if you don't have time, then you don't have priorities. And if sewing is really not your priority, you will never have time. You will just, you will have this dream of sewing and creating something, but if it's not your priority, just toss it out the window, forget about it, and stop blaming yourself for it. Alrighty guys, reason number two is that you are not understanding how the body works. And what I mean by that is that uh, anybody can stitch a straight line, really. You know, you can take two pieces of fabric, put them together, feed them through the machine, and there you go. You have created something. However, you have to start putting in your your logical thinking into sewing. Sewing is just is not just an art of creating a garment, it's also an art of understanding the human body. So if I know that if I put two squares together and I sew, you know, straight seams over here and I leave the opening over here and I sew two straight seams over here, I know that I will get something that resembles a blouse. But add a little bit of thought to it around the shoulders, get a really nice curve around the neckline, curve the bottom of the hem, and there you go, you have a wonderful blouse. Sewing is not that hard if you put a thought into it. So that's reason number two why sewing is so hard, is because we rely entirely on the patterns and we don't think by ourselves. All right, and reason number three why sewing is so hard is because you have unreasonable expectations. If you go to the store and you see what you like and you think that you're going to be able to replicate that, think one more time. After a certain amount of time, yes, you will be able to replicate that. However, think about this. When stores and sewing companies are actually making these garments, there is a huge production behind that one garment. They thought about everything. They thought about fabric usage, they thought about the production line, they thought about the machines, the uh, instruments, everything else that needs to be done to create that one garment. You are a one-man show. <laughs> so a lot of times, you know, uh, to create those uh, really amazing finishes on some of the garments, you need a cover stitch machine. Or if you really want to have your seams surged, you need a serger or uh, uh, an overlock machine. So. Don't go into sewing having these unreasonable expectations. Start small, start with a pillowcase, then progress to sewing a tote, then make yourself a purse or a clutch, then make yourself a simple blouse. And after you gradually progress, you will start getting better. You will start understanding what it is to create a garment and all of a sudden everything is gonna fall in place. All right, and let's talk about what am I wearing? I've been waiting for this moment the whole video. All right, it's Me Made May, uh, day number one. It's a wonderful Tuesday afternoon, and I am wearing a seamwork combo. For those who don't know, a Seamwork is an online magazine and it's also I think a sister company of Colette Media uh, and I'll link all the links below guys so that you can go and check them out. I am actually a subscriber of the uh, Seamwork magazine. It's six, I think six dollars per month and um, uh, this is a York blouse that I actually got as a free pattern so I'll link that up in the description below as well. Uh, and I made a ton of, uh, of, of hacks or modifications to it. Um, I added a a center seam. I added this little flounce. Uh, I actually did this embroidery on my regular sewing machine. I do have an actual embroidery machine, but I did this embroidery uh, just on my sewing machine by combining 
different stitches uh, one after another one. And the pants that I'm wearing are also pants from Seamwork. I don't remember the name of the pattern right now at the top of my head. I, I probably should have should have prepared myself. So I'll I'll pop the name somewhere here. Um, so these pants are awesome. I love this pattern. Uh, they're, I made them out of uh, linen. And I got this 100% uh, linen at the... Um, uh, Hancock fabric um, closeout sale and I actually got it back back in Vegas so the fabric is super nice super summery and breathes uh, really really nice and I got I think three or four yards so uh, I made I made I made plenty of stuff out of this fabric and the fabric that I used for the blouse I actually got at Walmart that's another tip and uh, when you guys start sewing don't go out buying all the expensive fabrics. Just go to Walmart. And uh, this is Poplin. And I got, I think, a yard of this one. And I uh, haven't really thought of what am I going to make with it. And uh, realized that I'm probably going to run out. So I decided to put a center seam in the middle so that I would actually have enough fabric for this wonderful blouse. And uh, I, the clutch that you see, I also made that. Uh, I actually... <laughs> It's a uh, double up cycle. Uh, I made a jacket some time ago out of this fabric and uh, grew out of love with jacket and I, I wore it really persistently. So I grew out of love after about a year and a half of having it. And I decided, you know what? I really love the fabric, so I wanted to upcycle it. So I made a clutch um, out of my old jacket. Uh, and the scarf that you're seeing is not me made. It was actually a gift from one of my baristas to Orlando. If you're watching this, thank you so much for this awesome gift. I'm still wearing it, using it uh, every single day. I, I love this scarf, I really do. And uh, uh, since I love blue and white, uh, it ties into my capsule wardrobe really, really nicely. Hey guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you for next 30 days on this channel for the whole duration of Me Made May. I hope you subscribe. I would love for you to do that. Um, hit that like button and I'll see you tomorrow in a new video. Thank you. Bye. Go to other parts of your... Oh, there's a really big bumblebee. <laughs>